Tattersalls was a name much respected at the turf in England. The epitome of honest dealing and the supreme authority over wagering and horse racing. The name Tattersalls was introduced to Sydney in 1858. They laid down the rules for wagering and betting, amended from those of the English Jockey Club. The new Tattersalls was well supported by the AJC, and it was not long before they established rooms in the city where bookmakers and their clients could settle their wagering activity. At a Kensington race meeting in 1895, the winning horse was disqualified and second place was given the race. It was the favourite, but the paddock bookmakers who were up for big bets refused to pay out. Instead, the bookmakers from the Ledger Reserve stepped into the breach. From this initial dispute, City Tattersalls was born, becoming an alternate betting force in the industry. Its status was confirmed by the AJC, the principal club of the running of all things racing in New South Wales, who granted the club a race day at Randwick that continues to this day. Bookmakers have been present at racecourses from the earliest days of racing. To claim their space, they'd put their bags down to mark their spot and commence the yelling of odds as loudly as possible to attract custom. Positions and reputations were hard won and easily lost. It was many years before rails were introduced and the ballot to allocate the bookmaker's location. Challenges to the bookmaker's position occurred frequently and none more so than with the introduction of the Totalisator in 1917. But that's another story for another time. I've only been a member for City Tats for three years and uh, I joined because of the women's gym. It provides uh, very good classes and it's a very friendly gym and uh, easy for me to get uh, to. And there's always the restaurants uh, after the gym that uh, is always nice to have a bite to eat afterwards. Uh, City Tattersalls means for me waking up in the morning and coming into work and actually loving what I do. It's the opportunity to meet uh, not only my fellow employees but also the members and life's about choices and I really love the fact that I work here at City Tats. I've been a member of the club for quite a long time and my family is also uh, members of the club and uh, <coughs> I'm also a member of the uh, swimming club and the uh, ski club. Uh, I've done a few trips overseas to Fiji representing the club uh, for the ocean swims and uh, <coughs> and the club now has uh, been here for a long long time and I hope that it's here for much much longer. Uh, I think feel the the board and um, <coughs> is doing quite a good job at the present moment and uh, <coughs> Just let's hope that uh, everything goes well in the future. They say your work is like your second home. So for me, my staff and my colleagues are like my extended family, where we warmly welcome our members and visitors into our home. So come on in, say hello to our CTC family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. I love coming to City Tats as a member because it's so convenient to where I live. It's right in the heart of the city. The facilities are absolutely world class. The staff are brilliant. I love the gym most of all. And I love having a sauna and steam room and swim. The club means to me it's a uh it's a good break for my day. I enjoy coming to the gym and keeping active. So it, it's nice and convenient. It's just right next door. Uh, the staff and the trainers are very friendly and um, it's, it's a happy environment to be in. So, yeah. What does City Tattersalls mean to me? History, tradition, and also the future. It's a place where people come to enjoy themselves. For me, uh, it's a place that I come to enjoy my daily work. I believe that the future of City Tattersalls is solid and we have a lot to look forward to 
The people that I work with are most important to me and I have friends that I think I'll have for the remainder of my life. City Tattersalls is a very big part of my life. For over 40 years, City Tattersalls has been my club. It's an oasis of peace and quiet in a busy city. City Tattersalls was founded on tradition. The tradition is still there, but it has moved into the 21st century. Its hospitality, its clubs, its association make it an ideal place for meeting and keeping friends. Um, I feel a sense of inclusion in this club. The staff are all very um, welcoming and uh, courteous. Um, there's basically um, a one-stop shop for me. Everything is under one roof. You can start with breakfast and after breakfast you can go to the gym or go for a swim. And then you have um, lunch, uh, catch up with coffee for, with friends and then pre-dinner drinks, um, followed by dinner, including fine dining. Um, so what more can you want in a club? What uh, City Tat means to me is like it's my second place working here. And um, I love, I've been here quite a long time in this place. And I enjoy working here and being with my, seeing my customer every day and my friends. I've been a member for 17 years at the City Terraces Club and it's been a great inspiration. And uh, it's like it's coming home to a special family. And the most I enjoy is the gym and uh, the dancing. Um, oh, I got my ballroom medals 10 years ago. <laughs> As a lifelong member of City Tats, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be asked to speak on the anniversary, the 125th anniversary of City Tats. As a friend's place, may you continue to grow and evolve for another 125 years. Uh, I've been working for City Tat for almost four years and it's a very pleasant place to work. It's been, it'll be celebrating soon 125th year of business since it's been open. It's one of the uh, oldest club in town and I really enjoy working here because staff are very friendly and management is excellent and that's what makes it uh, work easy and life's easy and uh, Customers we know are regulars and it's so flexible and easy to work with them. I've been coming here for over 40 years. It's my second home. I love it. Uh, I travelled the world for work for over 10 years and in that time visited many of the premier cities and the various facilities and I've never come across anywhere along those travels a venue that offers the characteristics afforded by City Tats, some of which are the extensive footprint on a major piece of CBD real estate, as is, for, as is City Tats owns in Sydney, uh, a non-exclusive um, membership structure, that is City Tats welcomes the poor, the rich and everyone in between. And it's 125 year history, an extensive colourful heritage and importantly the prospect of a very bright future with a planned refurbishment of the club as part of the airspace development. Why wouldn't you want to be part of that? What do I love about the club? Simply that feels like home for me and a second family. I do love and enjoy coming here to work and have a great day all together and feel the sense of community and integrity. Hello, my name is Patricia and I have been a member of City Tet since 1983 when I was working in the city and I joined with friends. They've all left and I'm still here. I absolutely love coming to this gym and although I am now retired and don't work in the city, I still come in twice a week to meet up with my friends and to do the classes. I thoroughly enjoy the club, it's very nice, very social and it's extremely well run. Uh, city Tattles are for me is more than a club. Um, I, can, I haven't seen a big change when I started to work here like two years and a half ago. Um, a lot of people uh, we are joining here. Um, we can see all the events that we are, we are being supporting, all the members that we can check. And how I say early, for me, City Tats is more than a club. I've been a member for the club for 15 years in the gym, swimming pool, and the members, staff, and all the members know me. It's like a family people and know me very well. 
I come to the club every day. The City Tats is important to me because it allows me to go to the gym and work out in a safe and happy environment. The facilities are all up to date and the staff are really friendly. I can also go to Lion Bar if I want something to eat and drink. Well, it's provided several, a lot of things actually. It's provided a wide range of people with whom to mix. Bookmakers, footballers, lawyers, police, everyone. Yeah, a lot. I spent a lot of time here. I've been a member for something about 38 years, I think now, and I, I use the gym quite regularly. Uh, I'm a member of the cycling club, and yeah, and I've been coming here a lot. Yeah, it's a good part of the day for me to get away from the office and come down. I mean, the, the lunches, uh, the camaraderie, everything's been so solid, and I've been mates with the fellas for the last 40 odd years, and still remain that today. And uh, yeah, it's been everything to me, and uh, I enjoy the camaraderie, the friendship, and the training sessions. I come down every day to train with the boys. I'm one of the younger ones, but um, there's now a few that we've brought along that are a bit younger than me. But we're all good mates. We're all from different backgrounds, and uh, I don't think I could work out of the city because it wouldn't be it'd be too tough for me to get to the gym. So um, yeah, it's a big part of my life, and, it, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, uh, Brett Schofield, member for over 20 years of the club. I've seen lots of changes in this place over that time, but one thing that's never changed has been a great array of friends that I've been able to meet and interact with and socialise with outside of the club hours. I uh, have been a member for over 28 years. Um, it's like a family, extended family of ours. It's um, uh, as the camaraderie ship that we have, um, whether it be in the club itself or training down at the gym, um, is something that um, you, know, is something you, uh, you cherish. And I don't know how I would have survived without it. It's a lifeline. It's the camaraderie, it's just a, 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 like a family to me. I love being a member of this club and uh, may it go on for, to better things. Uh, it's been a terrific club to me. I came from Norway 50 years ago, did a bit of rowing and then joined the club in the early 70s and it's terrific. And especially now when I retired, come here Monday, Wednesday and Friday, see old friends and it's just terrific. And the management is really good. So thank you to the whole club. To me, this is not a club. It's like my home. I'm here three days a week, sometimes five days a week in the old days. But as you get older, you slow down, you only make it three days. I enjoy coming in here for the camaraderie of the club. It's a beautiful club, all, all due to now to Marcelo Boas, who's actually done wonders for this club in, in the short time that he's been here. City Tattersall's Club. I could say many things that you've done for me and what you mean to me, but the number one most important thing is all the friends that I have made through this place. Both staff, some staff I've made over 30 years ago, friends, and I see them very regularly. Members as well, members who I see very regularly now. They've been very, they're very close to me, they're very dear to me. You did that for me. You're a very unique, special place.